Hey guys, Pinoy Handyman here. Today we are going to do some project here again. So we're starting from doing this. We disassembled this bed because it's been here only for two years. No quality at all. Very nice bed. But like I said, we ordered a new one from Keynes. The owner bought it from you know somewhere else and I don't know eh, and look at this thing here it's already broken I already fixed this so many times you know I put some braces on it but it's already broken right there so no good it's a it's a good bed but the bed frame it's a good bed frame very nice looking but the quality it's too cheap the uh, materials it's very light uh, material uh, woods and you know it's very uh, soft um, wooden uh, uh, structure so yeah so right right now we already did that one remove it I'm going to give it somebody to somebody else they can do whatever they want they can fix it because I'm tired fixing this back and forth and you know and we're having a new uh, bed over here to uh, to assemble so I'm just waiting for them to come around and then we're going to assemble here again so those are going out so like I said nice bed nice looking bed you know but the problem is you know it doesn't last long it's only like two or three years and then it's gone already and they've been seated down over here if you see this one here it's very soft material and these are a uh, fox leather this thing they're not leather but it's very soft and uh, glossy color glossy texture right here it's a nice one yeah and then we're going to wait for the uh, bed coming we still gonna save this mattress down over here that's are still looking nice still brand new so only the bed frame then they go go away all right guys bed that's already here so if you can see that made in vietnam so these are ordered from uh, Keynes. So we have the box spring over here. We have two of them. And we have all the uh, attachment on this side. That's all the head, I uh, mean the framing. And I believe this is the headboard, which is the heaviest one on over here. So we're going to assemble that and bring that one upstairs. All right guys, so we already have all the parts over here for this bed. You have the headboard right there so look at that massive uh, uh, legs over here this is like a four by four yeah this is a four by four you get a three and all the way here that's four that's a four by four legs of this uh, uh, bed frame over here and we have that also here and we have like a marble texture on this one and everything is wood but it's a very sturdy wood that they have and now we're going to assemble it and put it back everything so all right guys so we already have all of this so all the parts and everything so look at this how this came too far from united states and these are in made in vietnam and it's printed over here and yeah that's the brand name right there so nice and California residence so this is uh have a 65 warning for something a exposed to a chemical or something dust wood or anything yeah P65 warnings right there California government furniture all right guys so to assemble this thing always consult the uh you know the instruction manual because of course uh they made this we don't made this so everything you need to you know to be happy to assemble anything they always come with a uh, um you know uh manual or instruction and then everything will be easier for you if you read it you know one by one uh, take it the uh, step by step uh, procedure so that you can you cannot make mistake on it or else you're gonna strip off like this thing if you put it in and then you have a later on 
you have a problem that you put it in the wrong spot then you're gonna go back and go back again you know so always consult the uh, 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 instruction manual okay so that's always you need to do all right guys the bed is already done so we already put the thing up quick and easy to assemble it and that's what it look like so we're gonna put the uh the uh box spring over here and then we're gonna put the bed on it this the mattress so this is like a marble and also that one right there that is heavy headboard so yeah easy fix and the materials and the structure of this thing is really really good how they made it is really nice and like i said very cool everything uh it's a nice piece of wood all this here locking system here it was really cool so yeah it's not going anywhere see and unlike this one here this is bad so like you said here is is also a I think it's expensive also this one but have a it's cheap materials you know i already picked a lot of this one on the other one you see how materials of this one here see this one here if you look at this one here it's only two years or three years this bed is already done and i already been picked this one for so many times look at that here it's already totally broken on the bottom you see that there the piece of wood it's very cheap and this bed is like really expensive but look at that one over there it's like a piece of like a piece of cardboard so not really good so like i said that's why we are replacing it that is a bed that is a nice bed and even though it's expensive well it's gonna last long because like I said, this, the materials itself is really good woods. Like I said, unlike those, look at this one here, broken, this one. I already nailed this one already here. You see that? It's not even in the right area already. Yeah. And also this one, they have lights on it right here on the corner. This is like a marble, I think. And touch down over here. That's what he said. Touch me. He said that there. So when we try to touch it, it's going to light up, but it doesn't do anything. All right, guys, so this is a nice looking bed. If you see this one over here, touch me. This lamp creates three-way light from an expensive one-way bulb. So, and it says right here, your, your touch is the switch. So touch one, two, three, and four, night light, energy saver light, bright reading light then off so that one right there here yeah. and one more bright very bright if you want to read and turn off that's a nice one that's a nice bed so yeah very cool better structure nice so i give a give credit to these people who made this thing right there made in vietnam that one there no good no quality expensive no quality let me see this one over here yeah yeah cardboard it's already broken this thing is always be broken that thing is always be broken that one is already broken two of them all right guys so we already put the uh box spring right there inside so we have the uh, bed over here the uh, mattress so now we're going to put it in everything and then we're going to the next one and to assemble that. So this is already done. We're just going to put the bed and uh, put it the uh, uh, bed sheet cover and the comforter and everything. All right, guys. So already set up that one. So we're going to set up another one. So this is how you look to uh, set them up just like that because you need to find out where they're going to. And that's your bottom uh baseboard there and then this is the uh uh all the uh hardware here so yeah when you go to put this thing in here see how this structure is really good how they made it it's really awesome see when you put the thing in you can screw down over here just tie them up so that it will not going to be uh uh 
you know in a period of time it will uh, uh move this thing you know so and also always put a lock washer on it that's why lock washer they are the one who's gonna hold for this thing all the bolts so for a period period of time the bed will shake and shake all the time and then later on you know they're going to be start separating it because you don't put any lock washer and washer as well so yeah and then you need to tie them up really good also so right now we are going to set this thing up everything so we did that one over there so uh, you know one by one you're gonna do that so you know this is the method to doing this very easy you always consult your instruction manual it's always need to be you know doesn't matter you are a professional or whatever everybody else still need to go and look at the instruction manual this is not a rocket science that you're going to slingshot to the moon and go right there right away so yeah so always consult your uh instruction manual because everybody else need to read it important on these things you know so because we are not the one who make this even the one who make this thing sometimes they cannot even put it put it in as you know really fast they still need to look for the instruction manual how they did it you know so everybody so that's what you need to do just follow whatever it says and then yeah and then you get it done right away really quick you know so we're gonna put this thing in finishing up and put everybody everywhere all where they're going to be uh, where they belong to be you know just put it in there you got your lr done over here all leg r right there that's what they do how they uh label that so leg l here so yeah and then it's more easier for you you're not struggling around and to look for it where are they where is the uh where is the uh parts or any of the hardware so you need to put them in the proper places so you're avoiding you know messing around or anything like that and the work will gonna be more faster and also look at this one here because normally you use this thing it takes time to finish that so what I did I just cut them off here and use that to you know to use it to use it more faster using your power tools okay you just cut it off just get a saw and cut off anyway you're gonna throw this thing away you're not gonna use this one you're gonna lose this for a period of time because this you're not going to disassemble you're moving out or anywhere all right guys so every time you put this thing in here you need to put always a washer flat washer and the lock washer that's you need to put that all the time or else later on this will going to lose and then you know it will loosen because like i said in a period of time they're going to uh you know uh move the uh bolts itself so yeah that's why it's recommended to put the lock washer that's why they put that uh, parts over here and also this kind of uh, tools down over here you need always to use this thing because look at how small is it so that you cannot strip off the uh, thread on this thing because if you over tighten it then that's it you're going to be break everything so that's why they recommended this to uh, use this because it's only a pulse to uh, to tighten this thing up you don't need to over tighten them or else you're going to strip off the thread or you gonna remove all the uh, 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 thread on that area in there, which is the uh, bolts that is connected. So always, you know, that's why very tiny. Because if you get use the longer one, any tools that you have, Allen I mean, uh, wrenches, uh, back wrench, or open wrench that is longer, and then you're trying to uh, tie this thing up, and then you have a possibility to strip off all the. Uh, uh, thread on this thing so this is better to use it that's why they recommended it and they put it in on the box all right guys so also here if you put this thing in here okay and you're gonna use a power tools uh you always need to use the torques on it you know there's a torque that you can use that so that it will stop when it's uh start uh tightening them up okay that's it you hear that don't over tighten it already that's it because you put it on 16 on the torch on that so you'll be fine with it it will not going anywhere
All right, guys, we're already done on the bed. Look at that, very nice, very cool. So that's how you uh, set that bed for this uh, uh, unit. Okay, that's all good. This is touch, there, dim. Another lights are here, reading lights right there. Turn it off, nice, very cool. All right, guys, so that's how you set up a uh, bed for a uh, unit in your home or any apartment or condo or townhouse or any houses that you are willing to set up like this. So yeah, that's all done. All right, guys, so this is Pinoy Handyman. Thank you again for watching. You have a nice day. God bless. Take care. Bye.